Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody. Good afternoon, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Desiree coming to you on this beautiful weekend from Vancouver, Canada. Welcome, welcome to Queer Love Light. It's such a delight for me to be with you again this week. And if you've seen in the um, post that I made yesterday, I'd love to talk about how I discovered that I have the power to heal myself. And so for those of you who have been listening to my past podcasts, you'd know that uh, I'm a filmmaker by trade and also now trained as a Tao healer. And um, I've mentioned before that I've kind of fell into this path of becoming a healer. I've never ever imagined myself becoming a healer like I am today. And that process of uh, um, discovering this second calling uh, has been a journey of spiritual awakening for me. So I'd like to today share with you uh, a bit about how I became a healer and also share with you some of the things that I've learned about how we can tap into our own innate power for self-healing. And in today's world, it is really important for us to learn more about our uncovered potential to heal. So for me, it uh, ha all happened, started 10 years ago uh, when one of my friends actually, uh, her mother was in a very critical condition um, in the hospital and the doctors didn't know what to do with her condition and uh, they were really at uh, their wits end and this um, person was in ICU and just hanging on to their dear life because the doctors really didn't really know what to do with her condition and they've tried all they could. And so it was around that time, during this difficult time, that um, I came across um, my teacher, Dr. Master Shah, who happened to be in town holding a healing retreat. And I have actually been um, introduced to his work, I think about, um, about a year before I happened to read his book. And that's another story of its own, you know, how I actually came across his book and, and also uh, watched a documentary about his life. Um, but in, in essence, uh, it was all sort of like this divine plan for me to meet him and to discover his work. And I didn't, when I read his book and I, when I saw his film, I was really inspired by her, his um, heart of service and his healing abilities. But at the time, uh, I wasn't looking for healing myself and I, I wasn't interested in this um, path of healing. I just read his book and you know, watched his movie as part of um, my quest, I suppose, my spiritual quest of always trying to learn something new um, in, uh, in spiritual wisdom. And to me, when I first um, read his book and also um, saw his documentary, I thought he was one of the many spiritual teachers that I have uh, studied from through you know, books and through um, uh, videos. But little did I know that I was actually destined <laughs> to become his student. And it was through, again, you know, this friend of uh, mine and uh, because they were looking for some help, you know, in that difficult crisis. And because um, I found out that uh, Dr. Master Shah was in town, so we 
we uh, decided to um, participate in one of his uh, healing events. And it was through that healing, healing event that I met Master Shah and um, was able to receive some teaching and wisdom from him and learning about the power to heal. And so long story short, you know, in, in, in when it came to my friend's mother, they actually received some healing from Master Shah and subsequently uh, this friend's mother um, was able to be discharged from ICU and the hospital and uh, recovered from her condition back then. And for me, that became a catalyst to learn more about this this teacher. Like, how does he do this and, and why is this possible? So, um, I was really intrigued um, by um, his very charismatic presence and, and also I could feel, I could feel his genuine love for humanity and his heart of service. He just wanted to help anybody who's open to receiving. So it was during that um, event that something in me just kind of responded. You know, I, I, it's not my mind, I, I'll tell you that. It's definitely not my mind that responded, it was my soul that responded. Um, so when he said, <clears throat> who would like to become uh, a healer? And I had no idea why, but my hand just shot up. <laughs> and at the time, you know, my, my mind was telling me, oh, you know, because of this incident that happened to you know my friend's mother I was thinking about my own mother I thought you know if something like that happened to my mother and I'm I'm so far away you know my mom is in uh, Malaysia and I'm all the way here in Canada how can I help her you know in, in that time of need and and uh, perhaps crisis so um, by witnessing what, what Master Shah can actually do, which is offer healing remotely to somebody who wasn't in the room, which is the case of my friend's mother. Uh, she was in the hospital and, and Master Shah just offered healing remotely from the venue of the event. Um, it's in Vancouver, but it's still not in the same physical location. And subsequently, this mother healed. So, but of course, you know, when I was in the event with Master Shah, I didn't know if, you know, the, the mother was going to get healed, but there was something about um, Master Shah's heart of service that really touched me and moved me, and it didn't matter if um, it's going to work or not. I just knew somewhere in my heart and soul that he is the real deal. And of course, you know, sure enough, you know, a few weeks later, it was, I was proven right, or my intuition was right, that uh, my friend's mom it did indeed heal. But it was during that event that, um, like I said, my hand just shot up and, and I received this, this um, transmission to become a healer. And so, and then later on, after the event, I received the training and became a uh, Tao Healing Hands healer uh, that I am today, and that was over 10 years ago now. So as soon as I received this, this healing transmission to, to be able to connect to that higher frequency vibration of the source, which is the Tao, um, I, I felt something different, but I didn't really know uh, what to do with it because it was prior to my training, um, but I did remember calling up my mom uh, right after the uh, event and it just so happened that she suffered a fall and hurt her back. And it's actually been two weeks, I haven't connected with her for two weeks so I didn't know about it until I called her and she said to me she's hurt her back and has been in pain went to uh, you know the doctor went to traditional Chinese medicine acupuncturist and 
wasn't really helping her that much and she couldn't, you know, he, she couldn't sleep well, she couldn't eat well, and she couldn't even bend her back. So I said to her mom, I said, well, you know, it's, it's a bit of a coincidence, but I just uh, received this here transmission to become a healer. I don't really know how it works yet, but I suppose I can try and offer you some healing, I said to her, if you're willing to receive. And so my mom was, was very eager, and, um, and so I did. So I, I offered my mom some healing just over the phone, remotely. She's in Malaysia, and all, I'm all the way here in Canada. And so the next day, I called her, and I, I asked her to check in with her to see how she's doing. And she was just over the moon. And when she told me what happened, I was like completely, completely stunned at uh, what happened. So she ended up dropping a pen on the ground and just bent over and, and picked it up and then realized, wait a minute, I just bent over to pick up a pen and I'd feel no pain and I haven't even been able to bend over, you know, for the past two weeks, so the pain is gone. And this is, you know, um, a day after I offered her this healing. So that was my first experience, my first taste of what I can do, you know, as a healer um, because of this um, healing transmission that I received from my teacher. But actually, even without becoming a healer, he taught me even further you know, how, how it works, you know, how healing can, can work. Even if you're not trained as a healer, we all actually have this innate power, self-healing power to heal ourselves. And so one of the fundamental basic principles that uh, I learned from my teacher is that everyone and everything is, is made of information, frequency, vibration. And everyone and everything carries this information vibration. So when this, our, our, our um, well-being, let's say if it's our back, you know, if our back, the information in our back is all in order, in harmony, and filled with positive frequency vibration, then everything is working well, everything is aligned. But when there is corrupted information, frequency vibration in our back, uh, then it manifests on the physical level, on the matter level, and, uh, and then we experience pain or discomfort or stiffness or tension or what have you, just out of balance. And this information in the language of uh, um, spirituality is actually um, similar to what we know as spirit. So the, the back everything everyone and everything actually has a spirit and this spirit this soul is the carrier is the warehouse of the information so when the back when the spirit of the back is uh, um, has negative frequency vibration or information then it will then manifest into the negative which is pain and discomfort disharmony so if we invoke the power of the soul, which is this warehouse of information, and sense it a positive affirmation, it's more than affirmation actually, it's, it's connecting to that power of the soul, the, the, the soul of the knee or the soul of the back, in order to um, activate this healing um, ability within the soul, within the, the spirit of the knee or the back. And, uh, and then you can actually feel transformation happen when we activate that innate ability of the soul, the power of the soul to heal. So today, what I'd like to do is to do a meditation with you uh, to experience this power of the soul that all of us have. So we have a body soul, which is our main, you know, spirit, the one that we uh, go to for, you know, intuitive guidance and insights, you know, wisdom. That's our soul. That's our own soul um, 
guiding us and uh, connecting with us. And then actually every part of our body, in fact, every cell organ in our body has a soul. And this is, goes back to what I learned from my teacher that everyone and everything has a soul. It also means everyone and everything has a vibrational field because the soul, the spirit, is essentially a vibrational field. So to um, heal the condition or the part of the body is essentially connecting with that vibrational field and transform it. So let us do a meditation together and I invite you to choose a part of your being, whether it's your body or just a, a sense of well-being or, or an emotion um, and let us connect to that soul of that part of the body. Let's, if it's your knee, then it's the soul of your knee. If it's your heart, then it's the soul of your heart. Uh, if it's your mind, it's soul of your mind or your head, your soul of your head, your shoulder, soul of your shoulders, any part of your body. So we begin with um, a part of our body because then we'll be able to hopefully feel um, and experience some change uh, through this meditation. Okay, so let me now um, play this healing music of um, Love Peace Harmony to help us go into this meditative state and create a field of healing. So I invite you to close your eyes and just take a deep breath in. All the way to your lower abdomen. Take another deep breath in all the way to your lower abdomen. And breathe out. Take another deep breath into your lower abdomen. And breathe out. Just notice how you're feeling in your body. Just relax. Another deep breath in to your lower abdomen. And breathe out. Another deep breath into your lower abdomen. And breathe out. Allow your mind to quiet down. And take a moment to notice what part of your body that could be calling to you for some care and attention. If it's your knee, just focus on your knee. If it's your back, just focus your mind on your back. your shoulders, you focus your mind on your shoulders. Your neck, focus your mind on your neck. Just choose one part of your body. And breathe into that part of your body. Just breathe into that part of your body and send that part of your body some love and compassion.
And as you breathe into that part of your body, you visualize this golden light that's shining and healing that part of your body. And let us now connect with the soul of that part of your body. So let's say if it's your back, we say, dear the soul of my back. If it's your neck, dear the soul of my neck. And let's send our, that soul, our love. I love you. And we continue to breathe in golden light and send love to that soul. The soul of your back or the soul of your neck, wherever you chose to focus on today. Dear the soul of my back, I love you. You have the power to heal yourself. Do a good job. And visualize the golden light as you breathe into your back or your neck. Whichever part of the body you chose. Breathe into that part of your body. Send it lots of love and light. Breathe into that part of your body and continue to visualize golden light. Send that part of your body love and light. And you can send your love to your back or your neck or your knee. And just silently send love to that part of your body. With each breath you take. I love my back and you can replace the word with the part of the body of your focus. I love my neck and continue to visualize golden light. I love my back. Take another deep breath into your part of your body. Golden light shining. Continue to breathe into that part of your body and with each breath golden light shines in that part of your body.
and take another deep breath in and notice how you're feeling. Do you feel any difference in that part of your body that you sent the healing to? And we thank the soul of that part of your body. I thank my, the soul of my back. I thank my, the soul of my back for the healing. Thank you. And so I close the meditation and invite you to open your eyes. So how did you feel? I hope you felt some sensation in that healing, maybe some energy moving. Everyone has a different experience. There's no um, right or wrong. For me, I felt a lot of warmth in my uh, lower back area as I sent the intention of healing. And when we visualize that golden light, uh, we call it the mind power because our, our mind has the power to heal. So we were using the mind power and the soul power for the healing. And also the sound power, which is uh, the music. The music that carries healing frequency is the sound power. So, if you put your hand to that part of your body, let's say if I put my hand to my back and then I do the same meditation, that's what we call the body power uh, because where you put your hand is where the healing goes. So you can also put your hand there um, for the healing and th this is what we call the four power techniques, the soul power, the mind power, the sound power, and the body power where you put your hand. So I hope you um, was, were able to experience something and I encourage you to try this technique for any aches or pains that you have um, and let me know if you experience something if you heal something I'd love to hear from you you can reach me at this Facebook page, Queer Love Light, message me anytime, or you can email me at queerlovelight at gmail.com. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about uh, the healing that I do, you can also message me privately. I'd love to hear from you and uh, share with you whatever I can. So thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Till then, be queer, be love, and be the light that the world needs. Take care.